This morning we are back with our friends from Wildlife Rock Stars. And this morning they're introducing us to another one of their exotic friends. We're joined this morning by Sarah Saylor and James Nugent alongside with Chewy the Pale Fox. Chewy is just the sweetest. He, he is. looks like a Chihuahua, honestly. <laughs> he does have some features too. Um, small dogs, definitely, because he is in the canine family. So this is the least studied of all canine species. So they live in the sandy desert areas of Africa where there's not many research studies going on because it's such a remote habitat. So there's not much on these guys. So what is he doing here? So he is um, part of our animal ambassadors. So um, he is about eight months old and he had a really rough start to his life. So um, some wild animals don't make good moms. So he happened to have not the best mom. Mm. All of his siblings happened to be um, not, they were born and then they were injured, okay? Mm. So he actually did have a small injury, but he was able to be taken away before it became um, fatal like his other siblings. Aww. So he had a very rough start and now he will be living the rest of his life with us. But you said he, he does have another fox friend. He does, he lives with um, Marilyn, our fennec fox, and they are best friends, they snuggle together, they're just the cutest. Mm -hmm. So sweet. Tell us a little bit about his personality. Um, you said he likes to snuggle. He's obviously very friendly with the two mm -hmm. of you. He's very, very social. So at times he can be skittish, loud noises. Um, they are a nocturnal species, so being in the bright lights can be a little bit different for him, mm -hmm. um, but very social. Um, he has a great bond with everyone. And how big does will a pale fox get? So these guys get to be about three to eight pounds. So he's almost full grown. He's about eight months old. Oh, um, he might put on a few just more a pounds. Baby. Yeah. Yep. He kind of looks like you too, Dan. Do you think so? <laughs> I, 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 listen, we, we we have become best friends. This is this is pro I think maybe the first animal you guys have ever brought that I'm not terrified of. Right. <laughs> Yeah. But I, I, I don't know that he likes me all that much. I think he does. He's just a little um, curious with the lights. Because these guys are very curious, all fox species. You know, they're very into different things. They want to look around. Um, but right now, we've got something really cool going on with the Wildlife Rock Stars. So mm. we are doing our football pool. Um, that kicked off a few weeks ago. So we are doing some squares. No pun if intended. people are interested in purchasing a square to help support our animals like Chewy, um, $15 for one square or two for 25 um, and we are starting our United Way campaign as well. Tell so, us about that. Yeah, yeah so um, we're making um, so a little video that we will be posting. Um, it'll be posted uh, February 1st, but our number is number 2491, and that will also be in the video as well. Talk to us a little bit. Every time you guys are here, we, we always want to talk about the, the wonderful work you guys do with veterans, wildlife rock stars. I mean, great organization. Yes, so the other day we went ice skating, um, and everyone had a blast but a really cool part of that story is one of our participants it was our first time ice skating she was 65 she uses a walker mm. um, and she was able to ditch the walker when she was out on the ice skating rink um, and she just came back and I, like I could cry talking about mm. it because it was just a really inspiring moment I love that. Yeah. That is so wonderful. Yeah. So if like anyone has a loved one or if you suffer from a TBI, we have many different services. So feel free to reach out and see what we can help everyone with. You're helping people. You're helping animals. All in all, just a really, really awesome work that you guys are yeah, doing. Yeah, absolutely. And animals have the ability to be so therapeutic for mm -hmm. people, which is truly incredible. Even somebody like this little guy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, look, look he's very attached. <laughs> so how, how much time during the day do you guys spend with each individual animal? Um, we try and put as much time as possible into each individual animal. So we have different days where we might focus on like all of these and then it might be like a reptile day. Um, so each day we have a different enrichment theme that we do for the animals. So all the animals get a different enrichment. Um, when they're young like this, they get so much attention to make sure that they're able to come out into the public and to educate people. Yeah. You know, it takes a lot to have a fox so calm. Well, and we do little kisses too. So <laughs> cute, so cute. Thank you both so much for coming in this morning. We really appreciate it. Wildlife rock stars will post all of this information and more on our website, Fox Rochester. Look Fox Rochester. Oh, I didn't know. Look at this. Fox. FoxRochester.com. After the show, local headlines are up after America steals and deals. Say bye. Bye.